break down switching solutions into uh, two basic moves. The first is shoving into a facing point spur. This is probably the simplest of moves. In this case you can see the uh, warehouse docks and there's clear it's a simple drop off. Uh, there's nothing to exchange just uh, bring the engine down with the box car in front of it and drop it off. And in this case we only have uh, the one that we're going to drop off, the rail box, our yellow box car, and uh, simply drop it there in the warehouse and, and go. Not much of a problem, uh, provided that you have the box in front of you and uh, you come across the facing point spur. Now, the other situation is backing into a trailing point spur, and we have a whole train load here, and this is the second type of move. With this move, um, you will be doing most of your switching type of operations. being able to back in to the trailing point and then come right on into the warehouse dock area. The cars that need to be pulled uh, can be hooked up into the rest of the train and be put on the back of the train and pulled out and completely clear off the spur. Normally the, the conductor would get out, go into the office, uh, see what, what spots, what cars go to which docks and which spots. Uh, if there needs to be a car left behind, uh, then we'd have to work around that car. So here we see the spur being cleared out. So in, in this case, we're going to back our train back onto the branch line. Uh, now that we got the warehouse cleared off, usually we we sort our cars uh, in the yard so that the uh, the first car to be spotted would be the car nearest the engine, and then we work our way. Now sometimes all they will do in the yard is give is block the industry. So if there's two or three cars going to an industry, those two or three cars would be blocked off and then the next industry and the next industry. Then the conductor would have to sort each car in the block. Let's say uh, first industry was uh, warehouse A, uh, then the two or three cars uh, for warehouse A would be closest to the train and then the next group of cars would be the next block behind those for the next industry. And in this case, uh, brown box car is then spotted first at the proper location. The concept though is typically as you go from industry to industry, you will block out the, the freight line for each industry industry A, industry B, industry C, uh, further and further behind in the engine uh, making up your train and then uh, going along that all of these industries that you are hitting um, would be trailing point spurs and then any of the industries that were facing point you would come to the end of the line uh, find the run around, uh, run around the train, and then return back, hitting those, and those now are uh, trailing point spurs rather than facing point spurs because you ran around and now you're returning down the whole line uh, and returning to the location you started from. And if you have a car already on the spur that needs to stay on the spur, you would only clear it off momentarily if you needed to place a new car behind it and then you'd 
uh, have to park it off a, a siding somewhere. So then we pick up our next car, the CSX, and that will be spotted next. And so, which once again, in this case, uh, we don't have to shuffle cars uh, because they're in the order of spot. So the CSX will get to the warehouse at its dock location. And located precisely in front of the door that the office manager wanted it to be placed. Now, I always thought that N-Skill was a, a good gauge to, uh, a good size model to run long trains, long freights, long passengers, but not so good on switching. But uh, nowadays with the new coupler types that they have, switching out uh, with N-Gauge is just as fun as any other. And as you can see, I picked off the car with a toothpick and it's no problem at all and uh, they make a, actually the end scale makes a fabulous size for switching because you can just have a little switching layout like I have here and spot cars and have a 20 minute half hour session of enjoyment so FEC was built uh, in the, for this warehouse and as you can see each one here against the warehouse block and then the engine is done with this particular industry and then if I had any more blocks of cars to go to the next you can go to the next but this is the basic move and I was only just doing the one industry so you can see so we can then back into the rest of the train with the cars that are uh, needed to be uh, exchanged and returned uh, whether they're empties or whether the warehouse had loaded them and then sending them on to somewhere else. Now with those two basic moves, the facing point, shoving the car in, or the trailing point, backing the cars in, uh, everything else is a variation. If you're running down the rail and you, and you have all your cars behind the train and you come to a facing point, you cannot, uh, you're stuck. You have to go to a running a run around somewhere and then perform the task of shoving them in.